What's going on, guys? <laughs> what is going on? It is Wednesday morning. The sun is rising on the horizon, and we are back at our local flea market. We didn't have great luck last time. No, we, we were didn't here. buy a single thing. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a little rough. So hopefully today is a little bit better. One thing I do like about the GoPro 9 is that it is slightly better in low light situations than the 7. So like right now it's pretty dark and if we had a 7 it would be really really dark. But on the camera it should look like, I don't know, at least bright enough you guys can see what we're looking at. We got massage guns, some cat food. There's a taco truck. Shout out taco truck. Just a little satin game box jacket. How much is your jacket? Yeah, I think I can do that. What's up, Josh? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? <laughs> I'm a Clemson fan, so oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Got a Pink Panther Santa. Oh, yeah, we just one. Yeah, we just... Okay. You don't get food? I don't I don't think so. He's... I'll give you... Okay, how about eight? So you have both of ten. What do you think? What? I'm eight, sorry, Eight what? dollars for food? He is really cute. So we got 10 on those that we already got in there. Yes, and we got, I'll just get these three. So what do you got on those? Uh, well, I wanted five for him. Uh, take, how about 20 for everything? 20 for everything sounds good to me. Okay. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And you need a bag, another nope. bag? We'll just throw I'll it in here. Five bags. <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? What up? What's so much, Josh? Ben Hogan. Good morning. Good morning. morning. I almost say morning family, but morning. <laughs> you can call us family. That's fine. I see y'all more than my regular family, so that's fair. There's a builder bear driving over there. Yeah. I wanted to play yesterday, but I couldn't get out there, man. It's a little cold this I'm time of year. Next week when it warms up again. Yeah. You got some good clubs today, man. Yeah. All right, so we got the Ben Hogan Hybrid, Medicus Driver, yeah. Taylor Made Wedge. I don't know what this is, but Dunlop. I'll get it. Dunlop. Dunlop. Yeah, those are collectibles. I had Dr. Spock last week, and I found that one. This is from Halo. Are you going to all of them? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All of them? Really? Yep. Okay. All right, switch. I'm getting these four clubs and the Halo figure. I do. What you got on that? Oh, man, this is 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah, this is probably worth... I imagine 30 by itself, so that's a good yeah. one. It's lefty too, so right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yep, okay. They take a little bit longer to sell, but you can usually get a little bit more money for them. Yeah. Well, this okay. is your better one. I think this one's probably going for like maybe 40. Yeah, like yeah. Selfie rate on these is pretty yeah. good. Okay, buddy. Thanks, Thanks sir. Can you, can you swing this without breaking it? Man, I tried this morning and I couldn't get it. You got it. It's yeah. all, all about the tempo. Yeah. These are fun. These are fun. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate the deal, bud. Thank you, buddy. How much you want for your dragon? $3. Perfect. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take the dragon. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Oh, Care Bear Build a Bear. Yeah, look at that. Today is much better than the last day, for yes. sure. <laughs> How much do you take for the Care Bear? I'll give you I'll give you two bucks. These are pretty good. Thank you. Absolutely. That's a special one, but she sold it for like one thirty something on McCarthy. Yeah, we had we found one at the the new Goodwill in Chapin. It was from the eighties. Yeah. Um, paid you know fifty cents for it. I think we got it sold to somebody overseas. They ended up paying like eighty five or something for it after oh, fees okay. and shipping and everything. They're pretty good. But yeah. these that's a newer one, but it's still Build a Bear, so that's yeah, pretty that's good. Yeah, Build a Bear. Yeah, I have them. One with the little Care Bear sticker on it at the house, but it's about that size. Right yeah, there. Care Bears are good. Mm -hmm. Care Bears and My Little Ponies. Those are the ones we usually look out okay, for. Yeah. Yeah, I usually can't keep them. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank y'all. Thank you. What's the Santa thing back there? That's an old. Uh, what it's do like you call a blow mold. It? Yeah, mold. Old blow mold, or whatever. It's cool. How much yeah, you want for him? Five bucks. Yeah, I'll give you five bucks for him. You know what? It's still in good shape. Yeah. That's an El. I know. I was trying to show you that Elvis clock for five dollars. I still got it in the package, and I wanted five bucks. So that's about a forty dollar clock. On it. You know, it goes back and forth. But yeah. I took it out of the wrapper. Yeah. That's cool, but it's still. Thanks. Oh, 
This is an old green beret, this from the 60s, though. Yeah. The scope. But, you know, like you said, you guys are dealing, you don't know what All right. I think that'll do it. We yeah, appreciate luck, it. guys. Hope you find some stuff. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. We just finished up the first row here at the flea market, and I'm telling you guys, this is already, like, 500 times better than the last time. It's crazy that Wednesdays have been better than Saturdays. Yeah. I wasn't recording that last interaction, but we picked up this Scentsy pumpkin, new in the box, and some uh, Victoria's Secret electric beach spray and some Hello Beautiful Bath and Body Works spray for 15 bucks. I'm gonna show you guys, show you guys this FedEx jacket, which is uh, FedEx branded. If you look these up on eBay, the selfie rate is actually really good and they actually sell for a good amount of money, but you're not able to sell them because um, it's illegal to sell like branded stuff like this because some robber could come out here to the flea market and buy it and then dress up as a FedEx guy and then rob your home and like blend in really well. So definitely never list anything like post office, FedEx, UPS, anything like that on eBay. How much you want on this one? Five? Okay. There you go. Thank you. Heading down the last row. The shoe ladies are not here on Wednesdays. So I don't think there's gonna be anything for us to look at on this side. We're gonna take a look and then head down this last row this way. This is a Sage Gale Earnhardt. $3. What's the date? 1990. 1990. Size large? Yeah. Good fun. We'll get your Dale Earnhardt shirt. Is this not your tag? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll give you five for it. <laughs> yeah. I, we'll, we got our own bag. It's fun. Huh? We got our own bag. Okay. How much are your shoes? Those are 20. I did 15 on them. Yeah, I'll do 15 on those. All right. We appreciate you. These are very tiny. That's seven. They look good. How much do you have on the on these? Fifteen. Is it separation right there? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's looking. What about these? Twelve. Yeah, I can do twelve on this. Do you have a dollar? <laughs> we have a bag. Could you do 11? That's all we have right now. Unless we have to go to the ATM. Uh, I mean, these are in good shape. They just look like a little bit appealing in the sole. And I'm not a cobbler. But that, I mean, 15 is a great deal for those. But if we find something else, we'll have to go get more money. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, how you doing? We are in the eye of the storm. We start all their morning at the flea market and then uh, we eventually go to the Goodwill Bins. But in between that, we have time to kill. We have time to kill and we have appetites to suppress. Is that the right word? Satisfy? Something that starts with an S. Excuse me. Ladies first. You want more of that? Oh no, that's perfect. Thank you so much. I hate that they don't have unsweet tea in the morning. I know we're probably the only freaks around here that like unsweet tea, but well, I just sometimes this this tea is too sweet, so I like to you know dial it down a little bit. Pulling up to the Goodwill bins, we have uh, I don't know like 10 minutes. It's like 9:50, so you get 10 minutes to sit in line with everybody else and then try to get in here, so we can find some good stuff. Last week when we came in last Wednesday, it was kind of a bust. We didn't really even find anything. I don't even think we. Put any of the footage in the video last week because we didn't we just didn't find anything so hopefully i uh, like the flea market this week will be better than last hey, how you doing? what's up man all right let's make some money Kanga hat, Brisbane, Australia. That is a super cool hat. Some marks. 
juice. Look at this. this. I bet this is good. I found this pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. They're a little Tommy flag right there. They are, I don't think they're vintage, but they're in style for like the young kids. They're straight leg. And here they're only gonna be like a dollar. Probably go ahead and grab this. Hey man, get out of there. Let me take a look. Ah, look at that. How you doing, good? Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, a couple things. Everything's packed in here today. Michael, right? Yeah. Shout out Michael. He just threw us this pig <coughs> to give to Moe's. Yeah, he'll love that. We're just digging in this bin of like, I don't even know what these are, masks or something? I found this Transformers the Movie VHS tape. That's not even Transformers the Space Jam! I'll probably leave it. I'm looking at here. These are the bins that people like overlook because you just think there's going to be, look at there, Costa Turvis Tumblr. Made in the USA, baby. I'll get that. People overlook because they think it's just mask in here, but chances are there's going to be something at the bottom that's not a mask. I guess we got a Princess Peach over here. Plush. Is there a date? Super Mario. Sorry. 2019. So not old, but kind of dirty. Uh, I might throw it in the washing machine and see if we can get it clean. So I just found this Ugg shoe, which is in good condition. And now the challenge is going to be finding the match. It may take a while. I'll look. I'll look for a little bit. Oftentimes we find really good shoes here and we just never find the matches. They're just gone. But I think this one will be worth looking for a couple minutes. Did not find the Ugg shoe, but I did find this bathroom rail, which I believe is still new in the package from Carex. Looks to be everything's in there. Let's look this up, see if it'll be worth it. There are nine listed and one sold. So nope, not worth it. What is this? Rocks, fossils, minerals, and gemstones of the United States. That's pretty cool. Let me get that. All right, what do you got? Nothing. Anything Nothing good? good? I'm sure you got something. I found this Talbot skirt. I just thought it was interesting. Oh, let's get some glasses on there. Yeah, that's cool. Talbots can be a bread and butter brand as long as the style is good. Um, I have no idea what this is, but it's just made in USA like a sweater vest. Oh, Jansen? Yeah. yeah, it's like a, it's a, like just like a vintage sport thing. What, what's the material on it? I don't know. I didn't see any tag on the inside. Acrylic. Made oh. in USA. I really missed that. Well, it's, well, it's kind of cool. Obviously, it'd be cool if it was like a Ralph Lauren or something, but maybe worth it. Probably like 50 cents here. The Home Depot? Is it vintage? I don't think so. Headshots. Made in Bangladesh by KC Caps. That's still kind of cool. Look at that. Oh wow, master's bag? It's a little tote. Like a little picnic tote thing. That looks pretty good. We'll get it. Probably worth, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks or so. Not anything special. Did you find the match to it? Yeah. Gel Cumulus 16. US size 11. I'm assuming women's. I don't know. These are good. A little bit of wear right there, but nothing major. These will probably be two bucks. Turn into 25. I just saw Starbucks and picked this up. It's a really like cheap version from 2012. Hmm. See, we could use this. We could make our coffee at home and then put it in Starbucks cups so people think that we're fancy. Yeah, we'll get that. Personal use, if nothing else. So I looked up this Nelson's Complete Bible Concordance, and there's one right there in 1957. This is the exact same one, listed for $17.75 plus shipping. But I don't think there are any souls. Let's check it out. Seven souls, but I don't think any of them are the exact one we have. And this is pretty heavy, and I don't know, it'll just sit for a long time, so we're probably gonna pass on that. Okay, all right. that. See you later. Good, how are you? You put everything in my bag? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm going to go to the store. So it's 8.55. Would you like to make it an even nine help for a dollar? Yes, ma'am. You can round it up to nine. Thank you. All right. 
Thank you, ma'am. So that was a pretty busy day yeah, at the was. bins. That's the most people I've seen there, even on a half off day in a while. Uh, but we still were able to find a couple of things. We're gonna go ahead, put our stuff in the car and then head in, in there, which is the regular. Put it in the car and I can go in already. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. You wanna keep your bag? Okay, love you so much. Pretty much every time we make a video go into this location, we always get a couple comments at least asking us like, where do I find locations like this? And usually if you just Google Goodwill Outlet, it will tell you a couple of locations in your area. And if you live in a big city at all, chances are you have one within an hour of you maybe like in south carolina we've got one in columbia one in greenville and one in charleston um, and again most major cities will have one so again just google goodwill outlet maybe goodwill clearance center or goodwill bins you can probably find a location near you let's see if haley's found anything yet nothing yet no rico's been in here so. oh shout out rico yeah. we gotta look at the clothes rico doesn't check clothes so I found a couple hats. Um, we got this Ireland like patch, uh, whatever news newsboy hat or something. That's pretty cool. And this hat, it's like a, it's called Gorin Gorin Bros Bold Hat Maker since 19, 1895. Size so medium. I'm gonna look that up, make sure it's worth it. But it looks to be a pretty high quality hat. And Haley Did found. Did you get my goofy hat? Or... No, not yet. I just turned the camera on. Shout out Joey. Oh yeah, <laughs> I actually used to have a hat like that when we went to Disney World. I think like it's a kid's seven size. Seven years ago. But it does have the Disney Parks tag on it. Yeah, we'll get it. Oh, it says adult. Maybe bucks. it's just really stretchy. That's fine. It's only going to be a dollar here. We can get 10, 15 bucks for it. This hat might be ring up as like a fancy hat, which would be $2.99. So I got to look up comps, make sure that's worth it. But this will definitely be a dollar. Oh. Oops. Oh, salt light. Yeah. Kind of dirty. A little bit of cleaning. This needs some oxy clean. I saw this comes to the hat, but I guess probably not. Mm hmm. Looks pretty basic. I haven't looked up this yet because we keep finding more hats. I got this little dingo, Dunamica, no, Sierra Club. Sierra Club, the nature company, looks pretty solid. This will, uh, made in USA, size extra large. It might even fit my melon, who knows? Uh, we also have this hat, which I think that logo is Orange Theory, like the gym, Orange Theory. So this one might be worth it. I'm sure if you buy it at the gym, it would be like 25 bucks or so. Um, we got a couple more. We got this really cool um, Florida Mar Marlins hat. I think it's made in China. One size fits all. I think we'll go ahead and grab that. It needs a little bit of cleaning. We got the Sabre. Dunder Mifflin is a part of Sabre hat. We got this one's cool. It was a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's a little dirty and it's chewed up at the back from somebody's doggie. Uh, so I think that's it. We're just raking in on the hats today. Look at all these freaking hats. Okay, only have like 2% battery left, but I have to show you guys some of these hats. We got this Stetson, size medium. It's really crazy. I've never seen a Stetson like this. We have, um, I already showed you that one. We got this Kangol hat, which I think is pretty good. We got a vintage Lowe's hat that's a K Products, made in USA, I believe. Uh, this Relax hat that I showed you a minute ago is actually a Tommy Bahama. Pretty good condition too. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and get that. All these hats are only a dollar a piece. These fancier ones will be, I think, $2.99. Um, but that'll still be worth it. Also picked up this shirt for me. Sick Under Armour shirt, always like those. And look at this one. It's the Chaps Ralph Lauren, which isn't great. But this pattern, it's pretty sick. This is $4.50, $4.75, excuse me. Uh, I think this is gonna be a personal scoop. The shirt fits. It's, it's a little snug, it's a medium, but but it fits and I think it looks cool. So here is everything that we picked up today at the flea market, the Goodwill bins and the regular Goodwill store. Between all three of these places, we spent I think $154 if I did the math correctly. And there is so much profit here and it's not even funny. I tried to put soul comps on the screen as we were buying a lot of this stuff, but it's hard to do it for every single item. Like a lot of these plushes aren't worth a ton. I mean, I just thought this was a cool lion from the West Cliff collection, maybe like, 15 bucks or so plus shipping on him we paid a dollar each for these regular hats and then 2.99 for these fancy hats just the stetson hat alone should sell for maybe 40 or 50 bucks i mean that is a nice stetson hat um same thing with this one i, I put a sole on the screen for this one this is, should sell for about 30 dollars or so um i mean just in hats we probably have 150 bucks um just in plushes we probably have 60 or so the care bear build-a-bear the build-a-bear dragon i think i've sold this exact one before we got this the Christmas Winnie the Pooh. I have no idea how much he's worth, but he stands up on his own. Uh, I, I mean, we could probably get 
50 bucks for him probably to the right buyer we got all those other plushes down there we hit it struck it rich on the golf golf clubs today uh zo really hooked us up this medicus driver alone will probably sell for about 50 or 60 bucks as a golf training aid uh this should sell really really fast for us as well i think the best find of the day was actually found by Haley, and it is actually two things she found this dewalt hat uh, i didn't get it on camera because that lady didn't want us filming her um, at her booth but this is a vintage made you say dewalt hat racing paid five dollars for this i think we should be able to get about 25 to 30 for that and then Haley found this super super sick uh dale earnhardt <laughs> vintage t-shirt this is a sports uh, sports image made in usa size large it is single stitch on the sleeve i did the dry rot test uh, it is good to go the graphic is from 1990 we paid uh, well, there was a tag on it for $3, and then the guy said 5 but I just paid him 5 anyway. I think we're going to be able to sell this for close to $100. I don't know, like, vintage t-shirts super well, but I have seen really cool, like, Gale Earnhardt shirts in the past sell for close to that. So I would say $75 to $100 on this t-shirt. Uh, should be a pretty fair price. You guys know I like to try to give you a total potential profit on a big haul like this, and it's hard to get it exactly right, so I tend to estimate on more of the conservative side. But I think looking at everything we picked up today for $154, after fees, after shipping, you know, it'll take a couple months for all this to sell. After everything is said and done, I think we can conservatively expect to walk away with close to $600 in profit on this haul that you guys have seen today. And that is so much better than last week. It is not even funny. Last Wednesday, exactly a week ago, we did this exact same thing. Went to the flea market, went to Bojangles, went to the bins, went to the record Goodwill, and we didn't buy a single item. This weekend, we didn't have any expectations. We're like, we're just gonna go again because it can't be any worse than it was last week. And it certainly was not bad at all. So I guess the moral of today's video is to never judge a sourcing location based on one experience. I've seen some people like, oh, I've been to that Goodwill Benz location once and it was terrible, so I'm never gonna go again. And if we had that mentality last Wednesday when we didn't find anything at the flea market or the Benz, we would have missed out on all the stuff we found today. So go to locations multiple times to really get a good feel of what types of items you can find. And even then, you still never know what you're gonna find. You never know what vendors are gonna be at the flea market or what items you're gonna find at the Goodwill Benz. I'm sure you guys have found some weird items there. Drop a comment on this video and tell us the weirdest item you've ever found at the Goodwill Benz. I am curious to know but thank you guys so much for watching today's video we definitely appreciate your time if you could take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below we'd appreciate it Moe's would appreciate it and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well thank you guys again for watching you're the best and i'll catch you on the next one